Why is designing a room at really any age so difficult? I mean, even for me as someone who works in interiors, I still struggle with trying to put together a nice cohesive room that I'm going to like and not have to redo every five years as my taste somewhat changes and it's just confusing and it can be overwhelming. So I thought this would be kind of an interesting video topic talking about how to transition your style from literally your college dorm to your first apartment and then to, you know, maybe your first condo or home. So I thought I would share some of my tips personally. These are very specific and random tips that I've used throughout my life that I felt have been able to save me money or made it an easier transition from one phase of life to the next, I mean, interior decor wise. Let's get started on today's video of transitioning your interior decor as your life changes and your taste changes. And um, more importantly, as you start making more money. <laughs> Because really that is what it all comes down to in interior decor is um, how much money you have to spend on it. Let's start off with one of the more important tips I think that you're going to take from this video and I've been doing this my entire life and I recommend everyone to do it and that is buying, I hate when I say and that is, every video I'm like and that is this, but whatever. I guess there's no other way to phrase it. So, and that is buying one size bigger than the actual bed that you are sleeping on, if that makes sense. So if you're in a dorm room and you're in a twin bed, you are most likely in a twin bed, buy yourself a full or a queen duvet insert or, or bedspread or whatever. If you're in a queen bed, get a king. If you're in a king, get a Cali king or whatever. You know, you, you guys, you get the gist. You may be asking yourself, why would we do that? Well, in my opinion, I think that a bed looks better if it's a little bit more covered, if the blanket is a little bit bigger or the comforter or duvet or whatever. Eventually, one can dream that they will not be in a twin size bed as they become an adult. And then voila, you already have a bedspread when you go to your next place. I have yet to own a king size bed. It's the dream come true, but guess what? I have a queen and I have a king duvet over it. It just looks better. So tip number one, just, you know, upgrade the size of your bed. Ugh, I don't even know how to, tip number one, may, if you're, if you have a twin bed, get a queen cover or what, or a queen bed, get a king cover. You get it, right? Okay, cool. After your freshman year dorm, you are most likely going to move into your first apartment and then you have to buy a bed frame. And a lot of people invest in really nice bed frames that have the matching frame with the headboard, you know, that whole look. Those are a little bit more pricey and I feel like a lot of people invest in those and then as they become older, they don't like it. They want to upgrade the size. It's not for them anymore. So I think instead of investing in a full bed set. Grab a cheap frame off of Amazon. I have one of these frames. It's an extra like tall one so you can store a bunch of stuff under it. Yes, I still live in a very tiny condo and I need that extra storage. So I would suggest buying one of these cheap bed frames and then investing in a headboard. That way you're not investing in this huge bed set. Maybe you live with roommates. Now you're moving off to your own studio apartment and your style has changed. Instead of investing in a whole new bed, you already have the frame. You just need to upgrade your headboard and that's pretty easy to switch out. You can pop it on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace and buy a different one off of Facebook Marketplace or reupholster it yourself. It's just easier to do that until you are ready to invest in that really nice forever bed. So as you are starting off, I wouldn't suggest putting in a ton of money on your bed frame. Go with a cheap one, switch out the headboards as the years go by. That's what I did. I don't even want to talk about what I decorated my freshman year dorm with. I mean, I had a good idea. I used a lot of greens in the room, which was nice, but the wall art was definitely questionable. I definitely had a Beatles poster up on the wall. I also had my initial, just or just like a P, and then I got one for my roommate, Mara. It was just an M, so it said PM on the wall. I mean, very general, but looking back on it, I was already thrifting and antiquing a bunch of vintage artwork with my mom for her house, our, my childhood home. So why didn't I just collect vintage art 
for my dorm. Super easy to hang just with some command strips. Not everyone would have it. It's a lot more unique. And then vintage art really doesn't go out of style. I started collecting vintage art maybe closer to my senior year of college, for myself at least, and I still love all of the pieces I have today because it's vintage and it's cool and it just gets better with time. So if you're a freshman, just start collecting vintage art. It's cheap and it will transition to almost all of your homes if if you do it right. Okay, now it's senior year of college and you're about to move out and move into your first apartment in the city or wherever you decide to go. And this is a critical time to really kind of flush out some of that crap that really was just there to get you through college and it doesn't need to go with you into your second phase of life and, or second phase, third phase, I don't know. Whatever phase this is, it's time to talk about the no plastic phase. Remember these things freshman year that lived in your closet or sometimes just like straight out in your room or in your bathroom or whatever? It's time to get rid of the plastic. No more plastic organizers unless they are really just hidden in your closet. But even then, I would suggest upgrading to a nicer organizational system. Like I even bought this metal shelf thing from Ikea and I stuck this in my closet and I put a few baskets on it. Anything to avoid that plastic organization will help your place feel a lot more elevated and organized. Even the plastic hooks, we don't need those anymore. I would avoid just all plastic organization if you can, unless it's extremely hidden. So yes, get the cheap plastic organizey stuff in your 20s, but as you're transitioning into a more adult lifestyle, like you're trying to get very organized, get rid of the plastic bins. Okay, this one is a good one because I swear to God, people keep these things in their life forever and I don't really know why. And that is, yes, that is this general full length plastic mirror. You get one of these when you go into college and you hang it on the back of your door. Then you go to your first apartment. Maybe you hang it on the back of your door in your bathroom or in your closet. But I think sometimes people forget how cheap these mirrors actually are. I feel like most of the time they don't even make you look good, but I think they're definitely just a very young, cheap way to have a mirror. There are so many affordable options to get a nice full-length mirror. I have the Ikea iCat or I forget the name, but I'm posting it. It's, I'm holding it right here in my hand. This Ikea mirror is what I have. It's only $115 and it's huge and it looks amazing. They even have a cheaper one that's a little bit smaller, but that's a super super easy way to make your place feel a little bit more adult and a little less, you know, teen just by upgrading your full length mirror. Also just the addition of a full length mirror makes your place look really sleek and opens up the space. So I highly recommend investing in one anyways, but yeah, get rid of these little plastic guys. You got them for like $9.99 anyways. So pass them along, get a nice full length mirror. And again, I don't know how many times I can say it, but it's a mirror. There's so many on Facebook Marketplace, offer up Craigslist. If you're shopping used, if the item is made of a metal or a glass or a wood, if it's just basically anything but fabric, there's no question that you shouldn't get it. That's super easy to clean. Super easy to clean. So yeah, Google a mirror or buy one from Ikea. Another really easy way to upgrade your space is throwing out all of your pillow covers that you had, you know, from college or your first apartment or wherever, you probably had something like this, a nice little aqua. I feel like everyone had aqua going into their into their dorms or their first apartments. Maybe a little mint, you know? Throw out the covers, keep the inserts, and invest in new pillow covers and throws. Put this little fuzzy throw blanket, I know it's the comfiest throw blanket, everyone has it, store it in a cabinet. Only bring it out for when you want to lay on your couch. All of these guys, these like winter throw blankets, your tie blankets. I'm not saying get rid of them. Just put them in a storage cabinet and bring them out when you want to use them. And then just have a nice throw on display on your sofa and then invest in some new pillow covers. It's not that expensive, especially since you already have the insert. This really is one of my biggest tips and one of the easiest ways to upgrade your space by just 
upgrading the colors and fabrics of your pillows, putting away your cheap throws. Don't get rid of them. Just put them away and investing in some nice staple pieces to sit out on your sofa that feel more you and adult. Okay, now you're in your full on adult home, but things aren't still feeling quite adult, you know? whatever that means. I don't know. I feel that way with my apartment sometimes. Like I'm 29 years old, so I have some nice pieces I've invested in, but it's not like I have a million dollars to completely renovate this place. Like I'm sitting on a chair that's from Craigslist. Like, you know, there's just basically I still have some pieces in my house that I don't super love, but you know, you got to build your house over time. You got to look for the things that make sense to purchase and then sell the things you're ready to get rid of. It all takes so much time. But when you get your first real adult home, if you have it in the budget, I highly suggest investing in one really nice piece. I think if you're like me, where not everything you own is a really nice piece of furniture, a lot of it is thrifted, I think, you know, taking that one step to get that one really nice piece that you will have forever. Make sure it's nice and timeless. Again, you know, my condo is small. So having one really nice investment piece that's kind of like the center of my condo was important. And I feel very old and adult and I feel cool. Sometimes I do get a little sick of my investment piece, but I'm like, no, it's my investment piece. And it will one day be in my basement or my office or a guest room because you kind of trickle them down. You invest in something and then if you love it a little less, you put it in a room that you don't care about as much. And lastly, two really small touches you can do to your kitchen to make it feel more adult. These are super random, but I promise you they make a huge difference. First things first, get rid of these wine glasses. This specific shaped wine glass. These are the very cheap like dollar store wine glasses. I feel like you get them at a lot of like divey Italian restaurants. Get rid of them. Wine glasses are so affordable now, especially at home goods or you can thrift them. Get yourself a nice sleek, cool wine glass. Very easy to do. Very easy upgrade. It's budget friendly. And especially if you have all of your wine glasses on display on a bar cart or a shelf or a wine glass holder or whatever, having a nice sleek adult looking wine glass is such a good investment, such a good gift to ask for as well. Like for your birthday or Christmas, if people are wondering what to get you, just say, I want some new wine glasses. And it will really upgrade your kitchen to make you look like you're a very nice adult with nice dishware. And then last but not least, the most random tip that um, I actually just participated in this year because they kind of can get expensive if you're looking for really cool ones. And um, I'm talking about, (laughs) and that is, I really hate that I do that. I got to figure something else out sentence wise, but, and that is salt and pepper shakers, like actual real salt and pepper shakers. I feel like a lot of people just keep them in the original salt and pepper plastic thing that you buy at the store. If you invest in some really nice ones to put out on your counter, it's just a really nice little touch, at least for me. Mine are huge. Hold on, let me show you mine. Mine are huge. I really like them on display, but um, let me show you them. (laughs) Here they are. They're actually from CB2. Yes, I do sometimes shop at CB2. You never know. You never know. Not against it. I'm just saying don't get everything from there. I was looking for vintage ones, but it kind of freaked me out a little to have a vintage salt and pepper shaker. I just was like, what what could be in there? You know, I kind of wanted new ones. And I really like these from CB2. And they're huge. And they just look cool on my counter. So very small touch for your kitchen. Really random investment piece. But once I did it, I was like, huh. So upgrade your wine glasses. Upgrade your salt and pepper shakers. Those are just two very minimal things that you can do in your kitchen that will just, you know, look really nice. I definitely have more things I could talk about. So I guess like this video if you found these tips helpful and then I'll make another video of more, maybe more substantial tips. These were more small budget friendly ways to upgrade your space. Maybe on the next one I can talk about bigger things that you can do if you're really ready to kind of invest in transitioning your style. Next week, I'm going to be doing a Q&A video. You know, just questions people have been leaving me in the comments or on Instagram, TikTok. All right, time for her to go on a walk in this 90 degree weather so she can bark at all of the pigeons. Enjoy your day and goodbye. Goodbye.